All right, so here I am. It's a couple days after purchasing my Bronco Sport Badlands, and I'm here with a friend who's going to help me put on a ceramic coating. And we're using the Adams Graphene uh, ceramic coating, which is just going to help us protect the uh, paint from uh, UV and sort of like the elements. And it's going to help with uh, sort of water beating and things along those lines. The first thing you want to do before you give the car its ceramic coating is pull it outside and give it the best car wash of its life using the best car wash soap, highest quality, the most suds you could imagine, and then rinsing it off, getting all the dirt and grime off the car before pulling it inside and letting it dry off. Step in the ceramic coating process is gonna be the clay bar step, and that is where you're gonna use a clay bar and a lubricant to scrub the clear coat of the car, getting any contamination that's been embedded in the clear coat from road grime, water oxidation, or any other environmental things that would be in the clear coat. You're going to move to polishing. You're going to pick a polishing compound that's going to remove any minor swirling scratches or any paint imperfections that want to be corrected before moving on to the ceramic coat to give it the best shine possible on the vehicle. Okay everyone, we've reached everyone's favorite spot and that is the ceramic coating application itself. It's going to be a two-step process and it's going to be a surface prep cleaning product that's alcohol based that you spray on and wipe off just before you apply it. Then you're going to move over and grab the little bottle. You're going to put that on the micro suede applicator, applying it in a cross hatching pattern to the car, making sure even coverage is distributed as you go. Once the ceramic coating starts to dry, you're going to see some rainbow colors appear on the painted surfaces. And at that point, you're going to want to go ahead and wipe that off using a super soft micro suede towel. Great part of the ceramic coating is it can be used on glass, painted surfaces, and plastics. So you just continue to apply it over the vehicle as you go. Alrighty, you're going to want the ceramic coat sit for about a day. 24 hours is recommended for best results before taking the final step and applying the top coat which is a ceramic boost by Adams Polishes. It's a spray on and wipe off and that's gonna give you the ultimate shine, an extra layer of protection from the environment and providing hydrophobic properties to your car. Okay, you can see we pulled the car outside and this is where you're gonna see all your hard work pay off. You're gonna see the water sheeting, beating and just rolling off this car. It's like the water doesn't even wanna to stick to the vehicle at all, people. This is going to keep your car looking like new later, keep your paint shinier, keep the environment off the vehicle, and allowing you for a quicker cleanup for years to come. Excited about the way this car turned out. It is fantastic. The water won't stick. It's shinier than it is when it was new on the showroom floor. Right, so it's been about a week, and you can see that I've driven on the roads, and there's little black specks that must have driven over some uh, road work or some paint. So I'm gonna try and rub some of this off now and see what happens. And look at that. All comes right off. Now you see it. Now you don't. And ceramic really protects it. No problem at all wiping any of this off.